morning everyone, JT Taylor here of Purpose Pushes LLC and I am here to talk to you about something I'm extremely passionate about, it is professional learning. Yes, professional development is my passion. There's nothing more exciting to me than ensuring that our teachers are inspired, empowered, and equipped with the right tools to reach all learners. And that's why I wanna to talk to you today about three things that need to be on your professional development plan. Number one, social emotional learning. Yes, helping teachers understand the social emotional component of education. We often talk about building relationships and building rapport with students. Why do we talk about that? Because the research confirms it, the research validates that the best thing that we can do for kids is connect with them. And by connecting with them, they'll learn to be more motivated and more engaged in the learning environment simply because of the connection that we have established. But although we talk about building rapport and establishing relationships with kids, we often mention it as if it is easy to accomplish. It is not easy to do, not in 2019. So we have to ensure that we are coaching our staff and building capacity within buildings to ensure that teachers know how to build rapport, how to connect with students who may seem to be unreachable, who may seem to be difficult, who may seem to not want to be bothered. Well, how do we reach that student? That's why we have to have social emotional learning on our professional development plan. Number two, culturally responsive teaching practices. In 2019, schools are more diverse than ever. You have students coming from a wide range of backgrounds and ethnic groups. You have students coming from uh, different socioeconomic status. And so you have to engage kids based on the culture that they're bringing into the class. You have to use their culture as a vehicle and a tool to drive instruction. Well, the only way teachers will be qualified and competent enough to do that is if we provide professional development that teaches them and coaches them and inspires them and equips them to embrace culturally responsive teaching practices. We have to show them how it looks and what it is, and then we can help uh, teachers reach all learners. So number two, culturally responsive teaching practices has to be high on your to-do list. Number three, specially designed instruction. When I meet with principals and district leaders, what they often ask me to do is review their uh, data. And when I review their data and I see that gap groups are pretty much the same in every school, in every school district, in every state, uh, that African American students and minority students and students with disabilities are not necessarily being provided with the best opportunity to be successful. It is implied by the results. And so we cannot blame kids nor their parents. What we have to do is find out what can we do as an educational system to provide students with more equitable opportunities to be successful? Well, number one, social emotional learning. Number two, culturally responsive teaching practices. And number three, specially designed instruction. We wonder why students with disabilities aren't performing at a high level when Capability-wise, they have all the capabilities to achieve at a high level. But what we focus primarily on in special ed world, having been a special ed teacher for 10 plus years, I know this, we focus more on compliance, but we never learn how to bridge the gap between compliance and curriculum instruction and assessment. So it is important to have IEPs and BIPs and FBAs in alignment with IDEA law, but it is also equally as important to ensure that every lesson plan that we deliver to students with disabilities, that it is in alignment with the curriculum framework, that it is rooted in best practices, such as SEL and culturally responsive teaching practices, so that we provide students who need the most with the best opportunity to be effective. So those three things I wanna leave with you today. Number one, social emotional learning. Make sure that's on your professional development plan. Number two, culturally responsive teaching practices. Make sure you do not neglect that because some kids will not engage in lessons that are irrelevant to their life. Make sure you understand that. And lastly, specially designed instruction. 
We cannot allow special education teachers and general education teachers who are working in the co-teaching setting to fall behind because we haven't provided them with the tools they need to be effective. That is why we have to ensure specially designed instruction, co-teaching models, uh, and, and best practices in, inclu in the inclusion setting is, is on our professional development plan. Do that, you will make sure your teachers are inspired, equipped, and ready to excel for kids.